Did you know in ARCHICAD, you can draw any types of uh, stairs and you can be very creative with your designs? In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to draw stairs with different styles. So let's learn, practice and share. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Map Tutorial. So far, we draw this plan with uh, wall, doors and window tool. Also, we put the slab. And uh, the next step, I believe, is the stairs. But before that, I would like to explain the stair tool. So I'm going to select the stair tool. And then we have uh, two methods for uh, drawing the stairs, upwards and downwards. I'm going to select the upwards as it is. And then we could uh, select the railings for the stairs on the right side and left side. Then the drawing baseline, so we could set a baseline that how we want to draw um, the stairs. Then if we want to link to the ground floor or the current floor, the next floor, which um, in this case is the second story. Then uh, if we want to have a distance to the links that we have for the current floor or one story up the home story, then uh, the style of the starting and ending of the stairs, which uh, in this case, the first uh, step starts from the ground floor. Uh, in this case, the stairs start with the first step. Also for the end, we could finish the stairs on the floor level, or we could finish it one step lower than the floor level. Then we have the width of the stairs, then we have the numbers, how many steps do we want to have, and the height of each step. Then we could set a fixed amount for the uh, going for each step, or we could uh, set a flexible one. Then there's also options to have slanting for uh, the steps. And also for the turning types, uh, we could have a flat one, we could uh, have one step, uh, on the angle, and then we could have uh, multiple steps on the turnings. Also here, we have a different style for calculating these uh, steps. And uh, also we have some other options that is not visible on the plan or 3D view. So let's draw the stairs with uh, these basic measurements. So on the plan view, I'm gonna click on any space and here we have a palette that we could we could use some options to draw. So for example, I can uh, draw the steps as I move the cursor. And for example, here I would like to have 12 steps. Then I would like to have a turning here. So I'm going to select the landing tool. And then I'm going to draw based on measurements that uh, I could put in. For example, here one. Uh, 50 and then I can I would like to continue the steps so I'm gonna click on the steps once again and then I can continue till we reach this point then I'm gonna click and there you go we have our stair on the 3d view we have something like this which is a, a default simple stair also here we have uh, different materials for the um, stairs and the structure. And then uh, with this uh, style that uh, ARCHICAD provide to draw uh, a stair, uh, we could have different types of stairs with no limitation. So for example, uh, I'm going to draw another uh, stair here. I start the stair with one click. Uh, then I would like to go straight up and after the uh, 10th step, I would like to draw a landing, which is a curve. So first I'm going to set the center point of the curve. And then I would draw uh, the curve, which in this case, I would like to put in the numbers 180 degrees enter and then I would like to continue on the steps with the straight one. So this is the stir with the curve turning. 
Now I can edit this one. I'm going to select this. Then I'm going to reduce this uh, center by uh, selecting the offset all edges. So if I do it like that, I'm going to have a stir like this. Also on the 3D, we're going to have something like this. For the next style, I would like to draw a circle here, which uh, I explained this uh, before in my previous tutorial. So if you would like to know more about lines and arcs, uh, you can uh, see the tutorial right up here on the cards. And uh, if it was informative for you, don't forget to hit the like button. So I'm gonna just uh, draw a circle, a simple, circle like this with diameter of uh, two meter and then on the first floor i'm gonna turn on the trace which also i explained how to work with a trace tool in the card right up here then i'm gonna move um, this circle a little bit more to the right and then with the help of this circle I would like to draw a circular stairs. So I'm gonna uh, select the stair tool once again. Then I'm gonna uh, start with any point on the circle. Then I'm gonna uh, select, uh, for example, uh, the arc by three points or uh, just by, by the center point. I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna set the center as the, the center of the circle. And then I'm gonna draw the stairs. Uh, I'm going to draw it like that, and after uh, the 10th uh, step, I would like to have landings. So I'm going to select the landings. Once again, I'm going to select the uh, center point of the circle. Then uh, it shows after these um, 10 uh, steps, how many steps remains, because here we select the number of the risers to 21. So, uh, for example, I'm going to click like right here and then I'm going to continue the uh, stairs with the curve tool and the center point and this will be our 21 step curve stair. If I turn off the trace you will see that we have uh, an stairs like this and let's take a look at it on the 3D view. And there you go. We are having a, a stir like this. I go back to the plan view. Then I'm going to make a copy of the first steps that we draw. Then with Control Shift D on the keyboard, I'm going to make a copy of it. And then here we can also um, edit the stairs that we draw. So if I click on the, this part here, we could turn the these uh, straight stairs to a curve. Also for this one, we could uh, do the same. And also we could uh, turn this one to a curve. So we almost have an oval shape stairs. So basically we could uh, draw any uh, stairs in any shape that we desired for our designs. Back to the plan view. If I uh, select the stairs again, by clicking on the, this line, you will see that we have uh, different uh, types of um, options here. Uh, we can insert a straight node. Uh, we could uh, change the curve radius. We could draw um, a different style uh, for the curve, uh, especially if, if we want to have a tangential uh, curve with another um, curve that we have here. Uh, then we could add a, another node uh, on the circle. Uh, we could uh, offset only one edge, which in this shape is a little bit strange, but we have the option at least. Uh, we, we can offset uh, the whole stairs at the same time. And then also we could change the uh, segment types. So for example, here we have, I select the landing part. We could change this part to the flight or a different style of the turnings. And uh, this one is the normal drag, rotate and mirror 
uh, options that we always have these ones. Okay, uh, I'm gonna uh, make another copy of uh, the same um, stair. For this stair, we select the core line, that's the baseline that we uh, draw the uh, stairs with that line. Uh, here, if I change the core line to something like this, then I have ability to uh, select the outlines and uh, select a different shape for uh, the outside and also for the inside. So we could have an stair like this. And then also I can change to this one. Then I can change also this. And then I can change to this one. Of course, I didn't uh, plan before I start uh, these uh, stairs, so uh, you might see a little bit problem for the, in the drawings. But I just want to show you that um, how uh, we are open to draw uh, different style for uh, the stairs in uh, Archicad. Also, I'm going to turn this one to uh, the straight one. And then we have something like this. Also, if we take a look uh, in the 3D view, we are having something like this. So we could be very uh, creative with the stir styles that we are uh, drawing in Archicad. Uh, the last thing that I want to explain in this tutorial about the stirs, if I select uh, an stir and if I go to dialog settings, on the first tab on the uh, stirs, we have uh, the same um, options that we usually have for the objects in Archicad. Uh, then here we could select different styles for the uh, start and the end of the stirs, like we had right here, uh, the dimensions, the numbers of the steps, the, um, the height and everything that relates to uh, the dimension of the stairs. Also, we could work with a free style um, for the drawing. So for example, we could set a minimum and maximum for the uh, riser heights, for the uh, goings, for the steps. We could uh, set a different um, uh, minimums. We could uh, set a um, limitation for the landing length and uh, also for the uh, corners uh, we could uh, set up some um, dimensions and the headrooms that we want to have for the stairs and uh, as you see uh, we have so many options to uh, design the staircase in the best way also for the structure we could uh, select a different um, style for the stairs. Uh, for example, we could set a beam. We could set only a beam for holding the steps, or we could um, have the strangers. Then we could have a different settings for the strangers or other structure types like beams that we have here. We could completely control each dimension, each uh, shape here. For example, even we can uh, select a different uh, beam style. For uh, this part, we could have a different uh, profile for uh, the stairs. Uh, also, for the landing parts, we could do the same. We could have we could um, select a different style for uh, the, the structure of the uh, steps. For the finishing, we could select only uh, the threads or only the risers, which in this case is going to be strange. Um, so we could have a stair like this and um, we could uh, set up uh, the floor plans display by selecting different uh, line types, uh, different line uh, colors. And uh, if you want to have a break mark for the stairs, uh, we could select uh, different numberings. For example, even we can select the starting number. Um, we could uh, remove or put up and down uh, on the stairs and uh, there's some uh, descriptions here which uh, it is an uh, engineering information we could also uh, modify that and uh, also we could uh, select the reflection on the ceiling which 
it may uh, be used for some uh, special uh, plans and uh, drawings. Well, uh, this is it for uh, this tutorial. I draw all uh, these uh, types of stairs uh, with ARCHICAD. I suggest that you draw all these types that I uh, did. And uh, if you have uh, some questions, please write it down on the comment section. If this is the first time that you are uh, watching my tutorials, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel because uh, there will be many more uh, tutorials that uh, I would like to uh, talk about in uh, ARCHICAD. Once again, I will uh, suggest you to uh, practice uh, these um, styles because it helps you to learn so many more stuff about the object that you are working on. Also, you can share what you figured out in working with ARCHICAD and you can uh, share it here in my channel with everyone. And don't forget that we are here to learn, practice and share. For the next tutorial, I would draw the staircase for the plans that we have. Also, I will draw the elevator. So stay tuned with uh, my channel. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.